Speaking of the open plenary session at the Asian Financial Forum 2013 here in Hong Kong was Wayne Swan, Deputy Prime Minister and Treasurer from Australia. And thanks indeed for joining us right now. Can I start by asking you about what you see as your strategy for using Hong Kong as certainly a place for trade, both in China and I guess also in the Asia Pacific as a whole? Well, Hong Kong's a great economic engine room, uh, not just uh, within China, but I think within uh, the global economy. And it's uh, obviously a place uh, where there is a lot of efficiency, a lot of determination and a lot of purpose. So I look forward to working with my counterpart. Uh, John's a, uh, not only a good minister, but uh, I regard him as a friend. And I, I regard it as a privilege to be here speaking uh, at this conference, because what it does is draw attention to the importance of Asia broadly, uh, but also Hong Kong and China uh, in the global economy because really it's been Asian economies that have been carrying global growth for a number of years now and we really need to see some of the developed economies uh, lift their game and make a greater contribution to global growth. But I thought it was important to come here and, uh, and put that message on the table in conjunction with this RMB dialogue that we're having with uh, Hong Kong uh, which will take place uh, in Sydney in April. We want to see uh, uh, greater, greater, traded, greater RMB trade taking place. We think we've got a pretty good financial system uh, as well, just like uh, uh, you do here in Hong Kong, and everything we can do to work together, I think, is, uh, is worthwhile. Well, there's a way forward that you see for the relationship between Hong Kong and Australia in April, which you, which you just mentioned. Oh, well, I think, it's, I think it's far broader than just whether it's uh, RMB convertibility. Uh, if you have a look at what we're saying in our Asian Century White Paper, what we're saying is that we've got to more deeply engage with the region, not just on a business to business approach, but on a people to people approach. And when you come to Hong Kong, you begin to understand uh, just how much in common there is here to what happens in Australia because of the British heritage here, because of uh, the whole legal system. There's a natural complementarity between what happens in Hong Kong and the way things happen in Australia as well. So in other words, you see basically the trade that's coming certainly through Hong Kong from Australia is going to be far more than, than commodities. You're going to be looking at, at, your, at the IT industry and, and other things too, right? It's more so for Asia across the board, and that includes Hong Kong, whether it's education, any form of services trade through environmental services, financial services, it is far broader than that. But one of the things that we do have is very close linkages in, just in terms of people. I mean, there are something like 80,000 Aussies uh, living in Hong Kong. There's a pretty sizable number of people from Hong Kong living, studying uh, or inter interacting with Australia. So there's a natural uh, advantage there which we should be able to use to work together.